What's up guys, Chris Schwartz Edmondson here from Schwartz Edmondson Web Design. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do this and also tell you about a really cool free resource to download Squarespace plugins that also supports a really good cause. So this code is not CSS, it's actually JavaScript. So ordinarily I would want to teach you exactly how it works. Um, because I love teaching CSS and I really I want to not have you guys be copy and pasters of CSS I truly want you guys to understand it but in this case because it's JavaScript and I'm not so much a JavaScript guy I'm still kind of new and learning it um, so I, I built this plugin because it was a fun exercise for me so I'm not gonna explain exactly how it works but I'm going to show you guys how that how you can download it if you do want to put it on your website so the way that you can do that is just come to your footer code injection and paste in the code and then save it. And this plugin is for the brine template and it works on the first section of index pages. So you can see here as I scroll down the section flow slowly fades out. So I'm targeting the first page, the first child index page section. So it only works on the first section of indexes, and the reason it only works on the brine template that I know of um, is because this was built specifically to target the index page class. So if I jump in the CSS, we can see that on index pages, here's my index, and all index sections get an index page class. And so in this instance, we're only targeting the first one. So that's why it works on just the first section of the index. So it may work on other templates, but I'm not sure that it will. So that's why um, it's, I, I would just recommend only use it on the brine template. So just paste in the code and it'll start working. Um, one thing that I want to mention is that it works best with parallax disabled. And so I'll show you guys what it looks like when parallax is enabled. So when parallax is enabled, it still looks cool, it's just not quite as dramatic. So you can see all of the content in the section is still fading out, it's just the background image is not fading out as well. And the reason for that is with parallax enabled, the image is actually put into a completely separate container. So the code is behaving exactly how it should. It's still fading out that all content in the section to zero, but because the image isn't actually part of that section, it doesn't fade out as well. Still a cool look with Parallax enabled, it's just a little bit different. So it's, it's much more dramatic when Parallax is disabled. So just a little note on that. So now I wanna tell you guys about the really cool free resource and also show you how to get the plugin code. So this website is called Ghost Plugins and it's created by Cody at Move and it's it's for a really good cause so you can browse the free plugins everything on this website is free and it's been submitted by Squarespace web designers uh, just in the Squarespace community so everything on here is free but if you get really good value out of it and uh, you want to donate then everything that's donated 100% of the proceeds go to charity so you can click that I want good karma button click get started and you can choose how much you want to donate and you can choose to which do to which charity you want to donate to so it's a really awesome cause so I, I really encourage you guys to check it out to download some of these plugins they're all free and they're all awesome but but at the same time if you get some good value out of it then you know I'm sure the charities would agree that any little bit helps so a really cool resource for a really cool cause so if you want to get that um, fade out the top index section plugin that I created, the code for this video, you can click on random. And then it's this fade out first index page code. So you can click on any of in and, and this works the same for any plugin on the site. So they'll have a little demonstration of how what the plugin looks like. They'll have the steps to uh, to apply the plugin 
where you have to go to copy and paste. In this instance, it's the code injection. Then you can copy the code. And then step three, it shows you where to paste it. So again, sometimes in the plugins, it'll have a little note, like works best with this template family, in this case, Brine. And then also it'll have some instructions that you have to be aware of. So for example, this only works with the first page of an index and it doesn't work on general pages or banners. So come check out this really cool resource. Everything in here is free, really easy to install on your Squarespace website. And also, you know, if, if you get a lot of value out of it, then, then go ahead and donate. 100% of the proceeds go to charity. So again, this was started by Cody at Move, and it's just a really awesome resource for a really good cause. All right, guys, that is it for me. I will see you guys in the next one. In the meantime, keep creating kick-ass Squarespace websites.